Today I'm going head to head with Fletcher in the saltwater versus freshwater live bait challenge. Our goal today is to catch the biggest fish possible. We're going to work our way up the food chain by catching live bait with our hands in a net, all the way to catching giants with a rod and a reel. But first, we have to catch some bait. All right, boys and girls, we are deep in the forest right now, and our objective is to find as much live bait as we can. We can go find some night crawlers, we can find some centipedes, we can find some beetles, we can find any type of critters that these fish are gonna wanna eat. So my game plan is to hunt around some of these sticks and logs out here. Then we're gonna take those critters, we're gonna catch some other bait fish, like some bluegill, and try to see how many different species we can catch. Fletcher is actually in salt water, and uh, he's gonna be catching some live bait and trying to catch some big, monstrous, saltwater fish. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get our supplies and get started. All right, so we have a bunch of different gear in the golf cart right now. You know, we got a couple fishing poles. We're gonna need those later. I got us a little bucket right here, which we're gonna put, you know, all the worms and everything inside. And I also brought out a miniature shovel, man. So this is all we need. Oh boy, oh boy, guys. It is time to catch some bait. We got the cast net, we got the bait bucket, and we got the salt water here behind us. The marsh is looking awfully fine this morning. I do have to say it's low tide, which means it's gonna be a little bit easier to catch bait for us, hopefully. I mean, that's at least the, uh, the idea in mind. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to actually cast this thing. So let me go ahead and get this thing all coiled up and we'll get to launching. So we're gonna go in just these little grassy woodsy sections here and anything that we see like a big old rock or a big piece of wood um, we want to lift that up and most of the time you know that's going to be a moist area where some night crawlers are going to be where you'd also find some other insects and uh, just find your perfect bait. You know, right here, this is one thing that I'm noticing. This is a dried up piece of wood here. And as you guys can tell, that is some very dry land, which is not promising. Before I do anything though, I should probably fill up my bait bucket so that when I do catch me a little fishy fish, I got a place to put them. There we go. Stick her in my teeth and we'll let her fly. Oh yeah, that was money. What do we got? Oh, a little, what is that? Is that a baby sheep's head? Ah, <laughs> we got a baby sheep's head and we got a scrimp, a little scrimp, two scrimps to be exact. Shrimp number one and shrimp numero dos. And before I put you in there, let's, let's take a look at you. Guys, this is a sheep's head. This is a species that we might actually be targeting as a whole today like with the bait that we catch but this is just a baby one i don't think i've ever actually used sheep's head for bait before but hey we're gonna give it a shot today we're gonna throw them in there give us a jackpot now give us something spicy we are not seeing anything i'm gonna hunt around just a little bit more maybe what i'll do let's see see right there it's still pretty dry but it looks a little more wet than the pieces we were pulling up that is not what we want okay this is what we're gonna do we're gonna hop back in the golf cart and uh, we're gonna see if we can find a different spot all right spot number one was not the move but that doesn't mean there's not an area back here that has some more you know wet soil that we can find some of these night crawlers I'm hoping I can find any type of like concrete blocks or any rocks that we can lift up to. I feel like that's also a really good zone to find some night crawlers in. Look at that. I don't, oh my God, look at them. Look at them vultures. Holy cow. I don't know what they're up to, man. They looking a little suspicious. Might have caught them doing the dirty or something, man. The goal today, guys, is to catch as many species as possible and the biggest fish of each species that we can. So in order to do that, I really need to just make sure I catch some quality bait. I'm gonna take my time, throw this net around and see what else we can produce for us today. There's nothing better than seeing the cast net just shimmering while you're breaking that sucker up. Looks like we got another shrimp, that's good. It's crazy, guys. I come out here at high tide and I try to throw this thing and I don't catch any shrimp at all. But the second it's low tide, I mean, I can't go a single cast without one. I just caught four right there. All right, I don't want to spend too much time out here. I'm just trying to... 
<laughs> Those vultures are crazy, man. See how dry this is, guys? I mean, I'm finding ants. Ants aren't... Ooh, hold on. Hold on. It's found us a little centipede. Where'd he go? There he is. I honestly like this area. I feel like this is a lot more moist. I feel like digging up kind of under some of this debris could be a good spot. I have no idea where that centipede went. Oh my gosh, look what we got. Look what we got. Look what we got. Just like that, we got our first night crawler. See, I think that's the move, especially with how dry it is today. Look at how active that night crawler is. That is our first one of the day. We're gonna throw him in the bucket. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got a centipede. What in the world? Okay, we got him. And he's going right over to the worm. It kind of freaked me out, dude. It looked like you tried to bite me. I definitely don't think centipedes like that bite. <laughs> I like picked him up and he like went and tried to pinch me. Anything. Oh, what do we got? New species, new species alert. We got more shrimp. That's always a plus. But we have another little bait right here. What is this? I am not sure what this is, to be completely honest. If any of y'all know what this is, let me know down in the comments below. I don't know why this species just slipped in my mind, but that's actually a pretty cool looking fish. I like the, the patterns and everything on it. It's got like a cool, like vibrant little tail. We're gonna throw it in. We got something in the loop. What was that? Did it get out? Oh, there it is. There it is. Now that is what I was after, guys. Now that, I believe, is a menhaden and a shrimp. And talk about a quality size bait fish. Ooh, yes, sir. That's a certified fish catching machine right there. All right, let me get my net here. What is, what is that? Oh my gosh, no way. Is that what I think it is? Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I don't have words right now. So this right here is my fishing rod. And this fishing rod was in the water yesterday because Noah lost it. He was out here fishing for my channel and he had a fish just jerking off the rod. I can't wait to show Noah this. That's actually hilarious. All right, boys and girls. We finally made it out to the water. So I didn't want to bore you guys the whole day catching night crawlers. But we did end up getting one more night crawler. We don't have a ton of worms, but to be honest with you guys, I don't think we're gonna need a ton for what we're doing. I got my bucket of worms. Also have a lie bait bucket. This is just a foam bucket. And I got the bubble box, pretty much an aerator to keep the water oxygenated and keep those fish alive. Then I have my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose Combo. If you guys wanna check them out, you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate everyone for the love and support to the brand and uh i got a pretty simple rig here to catch these bluegill i just got a bobber up top got a little split shot weight in the middle and then i have this little itsy bitsy i don't even know if you guys can see it tiny panfish hook and that is all we're going to use to catch these bluegill we're going to take little bits of pieces of that worm put it on here catch the bluegill put them in the live bait bucket and then we go and be after them monsters oh you yes sir yes sir <laughs> we got some mag daddy baits i did not bring the right cooler for these <laughs> we will not be able to keep these but uh if i was fishing for tarpon like big old tarpon these would be absolute money but what you're looking at right here is what i'm trying to catch just the wrong size We'll have to come back another day and fish with these guys, but these are mullet, oh, calm down. And they come in a lot of shapes and sizes. These are probably like a medium, a large size mullet. They get huge. I mean, they get like, I don't know, probably like that big for a really big one. And I don't know what you're gonna be fishing for with that, maybe a giant shark, but shoot, dude, that's a quality bait. Just, I don't know if, if our little bait bucket here is gonna, stand up to try to keep this guy alive oh okay pinfish i'll use that sucker all day hardy little saltwater bait oh yes <laughs> let's go finally finally oh, are these baby redfish what are these here's our men hayden we're gonna keep you for sure i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure this is a juvenile redfish that's exactly what that looks like I would, I would assume that's a decent bait. We'll throw those in there. So before we even get started catching the bluegill, I kind of want to fill up the live bait bucket. This is something I tried to do 
before I start catching the fish because if I catch the fish and don't have no water in my bucket, you know, that is valuable time that they're not going to be staying healthy in the water. So I like to go ahead and fill it up. I'm not going to put a ton of water in this bucket. I'm going to put a like healthy amount. I don't want to keep it too heavy. Obviously we have our aerator and then we have the little bubbler on the end. You'll put the bubbler in the water. And as you can tell, when I turn the aerator on, it's oxygenizing the water. So it's gonna keep this fish alive. So I'm just gonna hook that on the side there. Since we only have a couple creepy crawlies in the bucket, we're gonna be a little conservative with them. And we're just gonna use little bits and pieces. We really don't need a ton of worm on the hook anyways for the size bluegill that we're trying to catch. So all I'm gonna do, is hook a good piece of worm on there just like that. And I'm gonna break it off just a tiny piece. And I already see a bunch of bluegill at the end of this dock here. And we're about to load up really fast. Yeah, we caught some. Thanks. Yeah, that's fun. Look at, look at, look at here. Nothing on that cast, but I'll uh, I'll show y'all some things that I caught. Do y'all want to see? Then Ooh, that's a pinfish. So nice. You live here? Uh, I my dad's. <laughs> Well, it's always fun to show the kids a little bit about nature, guys. It's cool to see their reactions, reacting to everything that it swims in the waters around us. I'll have to hold the shrimp and all the little bait fish, show them what kind of species they were and whatnot. But I did actually let them throw the redfish away, put them back in the ocean. And it wasn't really feeling like using those to be completely honest. And I felt like they'll probably just be better off in the water that they swim in. But with that being said, I think we have enough bait. I'll have a ton of shrimp, which is honestly the main thing I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and be done with the cast net. And we're going to work our way up to this bank to catch some other stuff. Look at that. I'm trying to stay a little far off this dock. But try not and spook these bluegill. But first cast right there. And we're already on board with a perfect bait fish. I would definitely like to get some a little bit bigger than this. This is a little bit more on the smaller side, but honestly, like perfect bait fish, beautiful colors on him. That's going to catch a monster fish today. Here goes the second shot. These bluegill look perfect, man. Perfect size. Come here, boys. She's biting it. And we got her. Oh, gosh, dude. That is bass candy right there. Not too big, not too small. Oh, yeah, baby. She got the worm, though. She, <laughs> she got her a little treat while biting that thing, but that's another one. Little, little bit smaller, but hey, that is still bait fish size. I like them a little bigger. Like the first one we got was, was honestly perfect. We might have to go to a different side. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Eat it. Come on, boy. Yep. That is, oh, that's perfect. I like cherry pick the one that I wanted. They are biting. Because at the end of the day, it's fun catching these fish. This is all a part of our live bait deal today. We're using live bait to catch live bait, but I know you and me and everybody else we want to see a big one get caught on that puppy right there. Stick this stuff here while I hop down in this little mud pit. And we're going to try to catch some fiddler crabs. There's a lot of them out here, and we just need to find the good sized ones. That one's that one looks decent. Come here. Come here. Got one. There's one fiddler. Not quite the size we want, but I might, I might be able to make that work. It's not terrible. Oh, there's one. That's what I need. That's what I need. Come here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now that. No, his claw came off. No. He just aborted it. He ejected his claw. Just tossed that thing like it was nothing. <laughs> I wasn't even pulling on him. He was just hanging. Well, that's unfortunate. That was a good one. That's what exact, That was exactly what we wanted, just with the claw intact. There we go. Got me a little female one right here. That one's not bad. So the males have the big pinchers and the females just have two little small nippers. And if I could get like four or five of those good size ones, I feel like that's probably a pretty good place to be. All right, Bluegill, you're not outsmarting me this time. I'm getting you. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, we got her. We got her. And that's bite size. That's a little smaller. Still a small one. Nothing big yet. Still, she'll do. That's number four. Oh yeah, that's a perfect one. Let's go right there, son. Right there, baby. 
He threw our split shot off somewhere. There we go, bait number five. We'll go over here, throw it in the bucket, get a new piece of worm, and then we're gonna catch one more, and I think we'll be good. One more, and we should be good. I want a really big one, though. Like, I want that Mac Daddy crab. Find me one chunk, please. We might just have to, okay, there's a decent one. We'll, 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 we can work with that if we can get her. Come here, come here. Oh gosh, she's juking me out left and right. Got her. She got her little baby pinches. Trying to pinch me. Not doing much damage. Well, that's it guys. I think we got what we needed. Last one and it's the biggest one of the day, man. Come on. Not a giant still, but that's a good bluegill. That's a perfect one. I believe that is bluegill number six. And we have enough live bait right now to start catching some big fish. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the pond. So it's actually really unique. You got a bridge, you got a freshwater pond or the freshwater lake on the left side. And on the right side, you have the marsh salt water. So Fletcher can literally fish in the salt water and I can fish in the freshwater right next to each other. So let's go ahead and uh, put him in the bucket, get in the golf cart and head out to the next spot. All right, time to hit the road guys. You gotta meet up with Noah. All right, boys and girls, we just made it out to the spot I was talking about. So this is actually really neat. You guys are gonna love this. So, so we have the freshwater lake right here. We have this dock that I can fish off of. And if you go right on the other side of this little bridge, this is actually the saltwater section that Fletcher would be fishing off of. So you got a lot of water pouring in down there and you got the whole river. So it literally splits right down the middle. This is all salt water and this is fresh water. And we're gonna try to figure out how many different species we can catch between the salt water and fresh water with the bait that we got. Fletcher should be pulling up any minute and we're gonna get after it, baby. Stay tuned, listen, we gonna catch some giants. Let's hop into it, son. There he is. Yo. My man. What's good, boy? It is time to get down to business. Dude, I got I got the bait. Oh, you got the good. I got the bait. I even caught a little extra bait off camera just to make sure we had enough. Uh oh. We got some scrimp. We got some some pinhead larrys. We got all that good stuff, and it's perished. Really? <laughs> please, please. Oh, we got we got one mullet and my little baby sheep's head is still kicking. Okay. Take a look at it though. Oh, dude, oh, that's sick. Dude, she go, she's gonna get shot. Dude, that's some prime bait. So Fletch, you know, I was just showing the people like you got all the salt water and you literally got fresh water right behind you. This is probably the coolest spot that we've ever filmed before, dude. I know, man. I've been wanting to get out here. There's usually a lot of like dar swimming around out in this area when I've driven past here. I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure they'll make the presence known. But um, I don't know. Does that look like a gar Dude, snack? That, listen, that looks spicy, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So what else you got in here? You got some shrimp? Uh, we, I mean, we got a lot of cut bait now. Oh, you got a lot of shrimp. Oh, got, you, oh, you got a crab. Yeah, we got some fiddlers. Are my fiddlers? Yeah, the crab's alive. Oh, sweet. Okay, my fiddlers are kicking. Our little sheep's head is doing all right, and our mullet's doing all right. Our, you know, our pinfish. <laughs> They're, they've seen better days so of our shrimp <laughs> but um the good news is we always can catch more if we need it mine's not as exciting as yours i actually didn't even check them hopefully mine aren't dead well you at least got a bubbler yeah i got an aerator oh dude these. they're vibing bro oh yeah they're big chilling yeah they're good size all little, little blues all bluegill yeah Ooh. That's bass and catfish candy. Oh yeah. Well guys, we're gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna start setting out some rods, kind of rig up the whole deal. Fletch is gonna do his thing right across the road. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, it's gonna be fun, man. Let's get after you, bro. Yes, sir. Oh dude, no, I almost forgot, man. What? <laughs> Look what I found on the dock, just laying out dude, there. come on. Laying out there what for me. Kidding? Is this what you lost? Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> I just lost it yesterday. Yeah, hold on, you might lose it. Oh my god. See, I had to drag pretty loose. Not not loose enough. Not loose enough. But, but yeah, so funny story guys. Yesterday I was fishing for Fletcher and something totally yeeted the rod into the water. <laughs> just straight up. That is unreal. You think somebody caught it? Uh I would assume so. I mean it didn't, you just, think it was like it didn't swim back up on the dock itself. Maybe you just floated back up, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. So I have a few rigs here. I have a popping cork rig, which I think I'm going to put the mullet on this. And then I also have a Carolina rig. Let me go ahead and give this thing a fling out here. Just put it right here in the middle of this little section. I think that should be good. Throw it over here in this corner. There's a little boil. 
Oh my gosh, there's a gar right there. Literally up in the rocks. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna dangle this. Oh, don't get stuck in a rock. He's sitting here waiting for something to swim over this little spillway that's below him. You gotta be Josh my thoughts. I'm snagged. Oh, they're gonna make me go down and get this. Bag nabbits. Oh, got it. Come here. Now just get out the stick. We lost our bait. That's great. All right, boys and girls. It is time for us to get all rigged up. Fletcher's already rigged up over there. So first things first, we're gonna have two different rigs on. We're gonna get a rig with a live bluegill and put them out there. And then we're also gonna get, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do both live bluegills. And we're gonna put one on a free line, which pretty much means it has no bobber, it has no weight. And then we're gonna have another rig with a bobber with a live bluegill. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna get this hook and we're gonna put it right above his back right there. So there we go, boys. We got our live bluegill on the hook on the Carolina rig. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cast her out. I'm just gonna do a pretty basic one right in the middle and some of that deeper water. And now we wait. I'm just gonna let our line kind of free line there and just let that bait sit on the bottom. Now with this rig over here, we're gonna have a bobber. So it's a bobber rig. So pretty much we're gonna have our bobber, then our hook, and that bobber is gonna keep the bluegill at the top of the surface. In my opinion, that's the best way to catch bass on live bluegills to have it on a bobber rig. This Carolina rig, you could catch catfish and bass on it, you know, feeding on the bottom. So let's go ahead and rig up this other rod, get her casted out there, and then it's just a waiting game, man. We're gonna see who catches the big fish first between me and Fletcher. And we're gonna tie on another one of those extra wide gap hooks. Same way, uni knot, same old deal. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite way to catch these bass on live bluegill. There we go. Okay, this is one of the bigger ones. All right, we're gonna do the same way, man. Right in front of that top fin, right above the spine. You don't wanna puncture too far down. And that's, that's where that fish ain't gonna have movement anymore. So we got our one rod over here. I'm actually gonna put this bluegill over here on this right hand side. All right, here we go, Jimmy. Catch me a big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at how fast he's going. I want you guys to see that. See how he's freaking, oh dude, he is freaking out. So that is exactly what you want when you have this bobber rig. That Carolina rig is a little different. It's gonna sit on the bottom. But that, that bobber rig allows that bluegill just to go wherever he wants. We're just gonna leave our bell open, kind of sit here and uh, now it's just a waiting game, man. Oh, hold on, we're getting, we're getting pulled. We just got pulled. Something just pulled our cork down over here on this side. Did you get bit? Yeah, I got something, something's biting me. Which one? The one on the right, it just got, yoinked underwater i don't know if he's still on there or not that was my uh oh, you just like pulled it down yeah it just went bloop oh dude look at that big gar right there you see it oh shoot i even see him hold on he just came out of the bushes did i get swiped i think i got swiped i did get swiped i feel like you're gonna get one i feel like it can happen boys that bluegill is straight digging towards the bank so one thing i like to pay attention to this is actually one of the most active bluegills i've seen in a while but you see how he's like spinning circles and he's kind of going all over the place that's usually an indicator that there's something near him intimidating him and just the fact that he's been swimming around moving around a lot just makes me wonder it makes me think that there's a big fish nearby but we're just gonna have to keep keep an eye on him i want to check this line just kind of get a little oh my gosh look at that boil yo Yo, he's freaking, he's running now, dude. Look at that boil. And you see how the bluegills are starting to freak out? Oh, that's a good sign right there, man. Yo, there was a huge boil right there, Fletch. Like right, right to the left of him, like five foot. Ooh. And I threw him out here. He went all the way out here. Then he came all the way back. And now he's like. Like your bait? Yeah. Oh, he's just, he's just swimming around. Dude, there was, I'm, t I'm telling you, like big boil. See that gator? Dude, he's just, he's just, uh, he started like 200 wow. foot out and now he's all the way up here. What up there, bud? I was talking trash to him and I think he got mad and he decided to like, you know. Like, give me a little side eye. He's getting Dude. sassy. Let me tell you, so this bluegill hasn't got eaten or anything, but there has been a lot of activity. Yeah. Like I saw a whole school of bait getting chased. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at all the bass on him, bro. Where? 
Dude, there's like 20 bass on my bluegill right now. They're, they're not big. When I got my, let my eyes adjust to my glasses. Look at them all, dude. There's like 20 bass around that bluegill. <laughs> yes. They're not big. <laughs> they're just inspecting. Oh, yeah. They're taunting them. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now you just, just want to see like a 10-pounder just come out there. Dude, that's actually great. Ooh. Getting a little nervous. Yeah, that was like 10 bass, guys. They're about this big, you know, not big enough to eat them. You have one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there we go, Fletch. There you go. Three pounds. That's uh, the first fish of the day, eh? Vlog this monster. <laughs> <laughs> Live bluegill catches a stick. That shit's awesome, That's ain't how it? you wrote it up. Didn't That's it? a giant, dude. Come on now. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. Get, get, get a picture be, with that. Come here. Hold that one out. I'm saying, it might be the biggest fish of the day, bro. <laughs> I've never seen them just like chill around that, you know? That's what they do. Oh, Fletch, something. Got, something. got it. Oh, point it. Something. Oh, yeah, you got something now. Yeah, yeah, boy. Come on. Come on. Did he drop it? I think he dropped it. No! Actually. You got him? You got it. No, he no, dropped it. Off. No. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, that was our first official bite on the live bluegill. This guy's just been running around, but yeah, we're gonna try a little bit longer out here. Fletcher said he might, uh, you're probably gonna move to another dock. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this little saltwater spot. Um, I mean, I could go out on like the dock behind it, but I haven't had a lot of luck there in the past. I've always wanted to try this, and the gar seemed very uninterested. <laughs> put it right in front of their face they're and they not picking just, up what you're putting down yeah they just yeah. swerved me so you know we're gonna give this spot just a little bit more time fletcher's gonna go to a new spot and we got a fish we got a fish fletch you got one? Oh shoot you got him oh yeah. yeah oh yeah boy yes yeah, sir she feel good oh my gosh i'm trying to tighten my drag oh yeah it feels pretty good dude Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. do we need to swing around to the bank, or yeah. what, are you, what are you thinking? Oh, dude, that's a... Dude, it's big. It oh. Like a... <gasps> no! You think it was a catfish or a bass? Was... I couldn't tell you. It kind of felt more like a cat. Dude! No! <laughs> There's no way I lose that. All right, I guess I need to try here a little bit longer, dude. Out dude. there in the middle, I've gotten, like, dude, two bites. Was it EWG, man? Hey, there's only one thing you can do is throw another one out there. All right, Noah. All right, brother. Hey. Best of luck to you. I'll keep you posted. Good luck, man. On the on the bites. All right. No, 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 no. We got one. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Dude, she took it so far. She might have spit it out. Oh, she got it. Monster. There we go, baby. Come on. Let's go. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big catfish. Oh my gosh, come here, baby. We're gonna have to take it around here. I gotta get her around that. All right. Oh my gosh, she's huge, dude. That is a big cat. This is one of the biggest cats we've caught in our last few times fishing, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, come here, girl. I gotta somehow get her up on this bank oh come here stay pin stay pin for me oh yeah look at that thing oh come here boy yeah look at that <laughs> let's go baby let's freaking go all right boys that is our first big fish of the day got us a good catfish man not a bad one by any means not an absolute giant but that is a good catfish dude super lengthy and uh we're gonna get her back in the water let's see if we can get us another after losing a couple fish man it feels good to get that one we got swiped would you look at that our bait got taken you know i would be mad but that at least shows that there's something out there that wants to eat it so maybe we'll get something else out there and and get them hooked up next time hold on we actually might have one on this oh yeah look at them running look, look, look. there we go boys all right we got our second cat i think not a big one like the last one but that is still a fish man i saw that line just go slack oh yeah yeah she ain't a giant she is not too big Let's see if we can just pull her up here there we go that is not a bad fish. Oh yeah, tiny guy. 
That ain't a big one. That's probably yeah, way smaller than that other one. Probably our smallest one we've hooked today, but to be honest, man, I'm just blessed to be out here and catching fish, man. Thank you, baby. There she goes. This is actually what we're gonna do. We have this one last rod with the last bait. After we catch a fish or lose the bait, whatever ends up happening, we're actually gonna go head over to Fletcher. He's at that saltwater dock. And I'm telling you, there's been a lot of big fish some big sharks, big sheep's head, redfish, trout. Maybe after this, we go over there and we help him out and uh, throw some of our rods in the water. Cause I'm telling you, man, if we can get a hold of a massive shark that's like six, seven foot out there, that would be insane. Ooh, ooh, there we go. There we go. That's a better bite. Hopefully he actually ate it this time and didn't just start popping at it. He doesn't feel like he has it all the way yet. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm telling you, that's all those big bass that are schooling. But the time that we've sat out here throwing out live bait, like we've seen so many blow ups, just man, they're active today. Well guys, we keep getting nipped at with this bluegill. But to be honest with y'all, I kind of want to go down by Fletcher, kind of see what he's up to and uh, maybe do a little bit of saltwater fishing with him, especially if he hasn't had much luck. Um, yeah, this bluegill is totally getting eaten that but it is your lucky day buddy it is your lucky day you're going back so we're gonna go ahead and uh pack up everything in the golf cart and head off to that saltwater spot where Fletcher's at Let's see what the boy what are you doing boy thinking of snooze man thinking of snooze <laughs> these fish are you know nowhere to be found to say the least You're supposed to be fishing man You're supposed to be catching some I'm trying, man. I'm trying. The crabs have been taking my bait, and and the fish are just not wanting to bite. Not having. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, they, I, I came out here to fish with you. Like, are you? You're like not confident. In this yeah, at I all. think we should resort to some freshwater giants. You think so? I was like, this ain't happening for me. So the one, the one thing right now is this high tide too. That's not helping you. No, it is. You know, if it's an outgoing tide, I'd say you probably have a little bit better to get some bites. But I think these fish are in the grass. If you're yeah. asking me. I mean, we can go. You want to go do some fresh water? Try Let's to go. Do it. So I caught some big. I caught two good catfish. Caught one big one, one like moderate, and then uh, I didn't catch any bass. So I'd say we go catch some bluegill. We load up in the boat. We go put some bass on there, or put the bluegill on the hook and go catch some big bass. What Sounds like my cup of tea. <laughs> Is that, I'm not gonna say no to that. All right, boys. Oh yeah, time to catch me some gills. Listen, I wanted to go fish with Fletcher in the salt water, <laughs> but it just wasn't happening. <laughs> not, not the day. So we're out here at a pond that has a bunch of bluegill. We got a bucket with some dried worms and a couple nasty dead worms in there. <laughs> A lot of gnats. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of gnats. A lot of gnats. A live bait bucket. Fletcher, I don't even know what this contraption is he has in his hand, but he We're thinks hand he's, rigging, dude. he's fishing with a... Hey, this is an elite setup. All you, sometimes all you need is a line, a hook, and a little weight, and a little bit of luck. I guess we'll see, man. And then uh, I got my rod. So we're going to catch a few bluegill, then we're going to go to a whole new spot where I had a lot of crazy luck in the last live bait video, man. Lost my fishing rod. Ooh. Caught the fishing rod back. <laughs> and also caught some pretty good fish, man. Okay, so let's just get some bluegill flesh so we can get on to the next spot. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, they man. are hitting it. Look at the little minnows, <laughs> too, man. Oh, yeah, they're down there. Oh, yeah, boy. Come on. There's Come to Papa. Deep. Come to Papa. Yeah. You got one, too? Yeet. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah, we're cooking now. We're cooking now. And we got two uh, snack size candy. Oh, no. Nice. What? I just tried to throw him in, and he hit the edge and just bounced back in the water. Dude, you, you, you got to lock in, Flush. What are you doing over here, man? Yeah! There you go. No, that's a thick one. The real question is, could I catch it on a bare hook? Come here, baby. Oh, yeah! Dude, it's elite! There it's elite. you go. And the KTB combo can't keep up. <laughs> All you need is uh, some line. Oh, oh, dude. Look at that size. You're talking Ooh, about, oh, listen, that's, that's a that, chunk. That's a chunk. that is money. That's perfect live bait size. Dude, Oh, that is oh. a chunk. Yes, sir. I'm getting the better ones, man. See, the KTB combo catches big fish, baby. Yeah, you, you sure? Know? You, you know sure the hand line? Listen, perfect, you sure about the hand line? Perfect example right there, man. <laughs> All right, Fletch, it's time to go catch some pond monster, baby. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's, Let's get, get it on. 
He is about to go down. Oh, watch out, puddle. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> you ready to make it happen? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a little bit of a, a little bit of a puddle there. <laughs> that was sneaky. He almost fell into the core oh, of the earth, man. There, man. <laughs> all right, boys. We got all our supplies that we would ever need in the world. We got a couple fishing rods. We got our live bluegill. We got our tackle box. And yeah. we also, Fletcher, look what I brought out. Do you have an automatic line untangler? I, I do not have that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing that maybe we should invent one day. You know what I mean? That'd be great. I got the fillet knife too, Fletch. I haven't tried cut bait today. I know you have, but I haven't tried it. I've been going strictly live bait, bro, and they've been smoking it. So we're not going to cut them up unless we just absolutely have to or if we have a bluegill die. Dude, I want to throw, I want to throw just purebred live bait get thoroughbred wow. give me i want to throw some thoroughbred gills out there well dude look how quick i'm about to get into this man i got one rod rigs the other rod's not we got our little carolina rig we're just gonna go ahead and grab us a healthy bluegill there we go oh yeah that is fish candy right there son so I was actually catching them last time, guys, under this dock, but I kind of want to throw in the middle just because that's been the trend today. The fish have been deeper. Even in the bluegill pond, they were not at the top of the surface. I couldn't even catch them on a bobber. So we're just going to let him kind of sit, give us an idea on what these fish are doing today. There he is, looking looking like a charm. I'm going to go ahead and toss him in here. Nose over there. I'm going to go down every yonder i'm going to use this chair as my rod supporter <laughs> before i lose one fletcher look i'm going with no rod support again to make the the situation <laughs> intense you know good thing i make these rods so i have like a hundred of them at the house but we're gonna make the situation just crazy okay. i do not make any fishing rods so i'm gonna go the smart path and put them right here all right so we're gonna get another rig on here and we're actually, this is going to be our bass rig. So we're going to have one catfish line on the bottom. This is the one we're going to put a bobber on. And this side of the lake, I mean, Fletcher knows. His biggest fish he's ever caught in this lake was actually over right by there. that dock. There's a bunch of big fish in this area. Even Connor, I mean, he caught like a five pounder the last time he was fishing this. On a Twizzler. On a Twizzler, yeah. <laughs> so that's... So, I mean, if you catch a five pounder on a Twizzler, I'm sure you catch a five pounder on a live bluegill. You would think. That would make sense. all right guys we're gonna reel in our stuff here and uh this spot is just not working out i don't know what's going on so we're gonna go ahead and pack up and head to the next spot all right boys and girls at a new spot we just gonna keep on moving until we find them oh, all right give yeah. them up. we we're, we're on a mission <laughs> we're bound and determined now we're too deep two men five rods and a bucket full of bluegill anything could happen oh no Oh Got my him. god. <laughs> Got him. What a, what a sin. That was like, dude, that was like watching, like, <laughs> it was just like, dude, 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 dude. Dude, what in the world? Just barely tipped over the edge. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Come on. You got one? It's coming in. You got a tree pounder or you got, don't you, know you got a kitty got. cat? It's definitely not a fish. It looks like it's moving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hell oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm just getting the uh, stick pounders today, brother. Dude, that is a, that is a certified unit, dude. On what that, a freak. On that note, I think we might need to move spots. Yeah, we definitely moving after that one. All right, boys, we're at the Wonderland. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen here. Finally, going on like eight hours here. Gonna make it happen. Grinding. I'm catching a fish today. Oh, you? Have, I forgot you haven't caught a oh. fish, Flush. I mean, we caught him in the cast net, but I don't really count that. That's a problem, dude. You gotta lock. You gotta lock in here. I'm I'm locked. I've been locked, but I'm more locked than I ever have been. Yeah. All right. Circle. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Good hands. That's you, bro. That's all you. Tighten your drag. That is all you, bro. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was getting, oh like, tricked. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, baby. Come on. 
Dude, that fish was pulling, brother. Is it big? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm taking she got. my time with her because I don't want to lose her. Oh, it's oh, giant, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. She it's got a giant. Size. She got a little size on her, a little girth. Oh, oh dude. Oh, oh, oh. That is a monster foot. Come on, baby. Let's oh. go, baby. Shoot. Take your time. Dude, you were in the right place at the right time, or that rod was oh, gone. Oh, man. It really would have been. <laughs> That's actually a giant, too, brother. Come on. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. Finally, finally a little bit of love for the, for the home team. Oh, that's a fat one, boy. Golly. Golly, son, she is, she ain't having it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Finally. All right, we got it zeroed out. Throwing her on the scale. And... Coming in yeah. at almost five pounds, 4.78. That's a good one, man. Not bad, not job. bad. Check her out there, guys. A long old kitty cat. You know, a few more fish and she's on her way to being a true trophy size kitty cat. Dude, that gets me so pumped, man. I feel like everything today was slowing down and that's, I mean, that's a good fish to Dude, start her off. She was lively. I mean, that's probably one of the better fighting catfish oh, I've had in a minute. Good stuff. Wow. <laughs> Good job, man. Woo, finally, bro. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, now that we got the skunk off the board for me, it's time to to up the stakes. We gotta we gotta put a big boy on. We're going for the biggest bluegill we got in the bucket. I want it. I want it now. Where are we gonna stick you? I'm just gonna launch you out there. Hey, that's where I caught the biggest one we've seen out here. It's about right to the left, you know? I'll stick her right there. All right, I went out there into the abyss too, Fletch. We just sent, oh, yeah, the promised land. We just sending it. I'm sending this little guy straight down. Yeah. That last live bait video just had so much of that. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. What? Something ginormous came up and tried to eat That was this. a big bass, I bet you. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, is someone taking it? Oh, yeah. Let's go on. Come on, get him. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's way out there, gone. too. You got a gator? There's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> oh, I got him. Is he? Oh, I think he's had him wrapped. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, here comes the gator. Oh, dude, no. Oh. He's coming so fast. Don't, don't do it. Hopefully that gator doesn't come up on the dock after that fish. What do I do? <laughs> I think you just what flip, do I do? I think you just flip them on the dock and whatever happens, happens. All right, give a quick flip. Quick flip. Woo! I cut the heck out of him. Really? Oh, yeah. Here, I got you. Get him up here, boy. Oh, my gosh. He's so fat. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, man. There That's another go. good one, bro. Yes, hey. sir. Hey. Boom. Let's go, son. Oh, man. Right, so where did the gator go? Oh, oh. <laughs> why did you do that? That was weird. That man was so disappointed. All right, quick and effective. Police. And then you got you a good cat, baby. Oh yeah, kicking their cats TV. Kicking their cats TV, baby. Beautiful cat, Ooh, man. She's scrumptious. Oh yeah, she got fat belly. She got some curves on her. Look at her. She don't want to, she don't want to go, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. 